Yeah, so today is going to be a special. I'm going to show you a bunch of pictures. Pictures I have no access to that are online. Now let's get started with the Copperstone. The virtues of the black stone include it was sent down by Allah to this earth from paradise. It was whiter than milk, but the sins of the sons of Adam made it black. It will come forth on the day of resurrection and will testify in favor of those who touched it in truth. The prophet kissed it and his Ummah followed his lead in doing so. Touching it is a means of expiating sins. Now I'm going to give you some very important information today. Years ago, I had a friend by the name of Buddy Mac. I was Christian at the time. But we would travel and I would do a lot of Christian rap shows inside of jails and even in prisons. I even done a rap at a person's grave, at a person's funeral, I rapped. I traveled often through the small towns, local. I support the local movement in music and talent and arts. And so one time we did a show at a prison and the prison was packed and we brought them food gifts snacks so by the end of the day I'm telling you at least about 500 to 1000 men shook my hand let me tell you how my hand felt. Getting your hand shook by almost a thousand men. Man, was painful. It was. But see, Allah was getting me prepared for the goal that he has for me. I'm a man that's for the nations. I'm a man that is international. He trains me when I walk up the steps not to stumble. I'm a man that's for the nations. Okay. Now, going back to this black stone. I'm going to break down this black stone for you. Muslims. You see, types and shadows is how you're supposed to study. Metaphors is how you're supposed to study. The prophet Isa taught in metaphors and parables. Everything is not on the surface. You got to dig for it. So this black stone that was originally white that came from heaven is a picture of whoever it is that will be Almaty. Because Almaty is Almighty Father who comes to earth because he cannot clear the guilty. Of the sin of putting gods before gods. This is seen in Exodus 23 and 4 and 5. So Almaty is just another one of God the Father's names. That's all it is. And a lot of the Muslims are unlearned. Because this revelation was only brought to me. So here we have this stone, which represents a person. Notice, it will come forth on the day of resurrection. Some say Allah will bring it forth. Allah is going to resurrect this stone because this stone is a person. And this person is Lamanti, Daiquant. It is I who is speaking with you right now. Now I'm going to give you a testimony and then I'm going to show you a scripture. Weeks ago, weeks ago, 
I was cutting grass doing my job. And Allah revealed to me that I was most closest to him. He let me know that we have nine years left. And then he confirms everything he tells me when I look at these pictures. Everything he tells me is true. He told me I have nine years left. He told me that I came from heaven. That's the reason why I remember drifting down. Hearing pieces of the conversation of my mom and the doctor. He said, I've never died. I've been alive this whole time. This is the reason why I look so young at an older age, at 42. I've always looked young. Okay. He said, a picture of me is seen in this cobblestone. That's why my name is Lamonti. Daekwon Lamonti. My dad's name is Monty. My dad name means mountain my name means the mountain he told me i was the real lamb he told me i was the father of the prophet isa and i have to die along with the last witness who was a female and the prophet isa has to die so a picture of me is seen in the stone that's on the corner of the kaaba now keep in mind we don't have to go to it but in matthew 21 42 jesus says the stone which the builders have rejected the same has become the chief cornerstone or the head cornerstone he was talking about his father he was talking about al Mahdi. you see the prophet isa was a muslim he's talking about a stone on the corner of a kaaba <laughs> In the Gospels, okay? Allah is my teacher. Allah is my teacher. And Allah told me I was going to help him save the world. And he said, I already did. Because if I wasn't here, we would have already been in the judgment. Everybody. All right? I gave us nine years. Little are you grateful. Little are you grateful. He said, I will be resurrected first. And he said, I will judge everybody. He said, because I'm in charge of the earth. He said, he is Lord of the worlds. I was put in charge of the earth. An analogy is seen in the story of Abraham and Lot. Here you have Abraham and here you have Lot. They both were some great men. Abraham went to one side, Lot went to one side. The side of the galaxy Lot went to got in some issues and needed help from Allah, needed help from the Abraham. And because the nephew Lot is kin, I'm kin, I'm kin, Allah rescued me. That's why we have pictures of this. Let's go to this. We'll come back to this. We'll come back to this. That's why I did a picture of this in 2012, right here. Okay. Saving only me. He rescued me and gave me nine years. All right. That's my story. Um, I never knew anything about Al Matty until 2024. But he's taught me more. <laughs> than I ever thought I would learn about Al Mahdi. You see him saving only me? He told me I was most closest to him. You see my hand on his heart? He told me that while I was at work. Now I'm looking at the pictures and I'm like, oh, wow. All right. This album is only available to you on SoundCloud. I started taking all my stuff down because it was Christian. But it was Allah who was with me this whole time. You see what I'm saying? Notice how I look like a stone. I have diamonds on my vest because I'm a stone. See a diamond? I'm the dye. I have the dye in my loins. Okay, you see how God always allows a light to be behind my head? Even in this picture. Um, y'all can watch those if y'all want to watch how Maddie has a halo, but his earring behind my head is shining. 
Allah always does my photos like that. Just like this photo with my nephew. I'm the one that's shining. I can't even let him shine. And I have on the watch because it represents I'm the man who knows the end. And you see the stripes on the couch? Allah is very detailed. The stripes on both of the couches and the chair is because I paid the price. You see, I got my hand right here. Look, I paid the price. I'm the, I'm the father of the prophet Isa. I have to go down too. All right. And I got the wrist. See his wrist. See his wrist. See his wrist because I have the time. And the marijuana just going into the Mary. Okay. The last witness is a Mary. All right. And the new Israel will come out of Mexico. Allah is ahead of me. I'm trying to keep up with him. This is everything he's revealing to me. All right. You can see I got a halo over me. I'm the only man walking around with a halo besides my son. I have a halo everywhere I go. I have a halo. Now look at this picture right here. This is called Concrete Congregation. This album was released in 2013. I have on a silver and black vest like a stone. That's no coincidence. Allah dresses me. Notice in this picture right here, Virtual Warfare, he has the stripes because I'm really the stunner. I'm really the 700. Okay? I'm really the Benjamin Broadway. I'm spoken of in the Book of Mormon. The Lord will minister in the tabernacle of clay. I'm really the stunner. Why? Because this man is named after the hospital I was born in. His name is 700 Broadway. I was born on 700 Broadway. His name Benjamin because I got the Benjamins coming. All right. His name Stunner because really I'm the Stunner. His name 700. Really I'm the 700. I was born on 700 Broadway in Fort Wayne. I come from the fort. I come from the fort. Why? Because I'm the comforter. I am the spit Jesus spat on the ground and mixed with the clay and healed the man's eyes with the clay. I'm holy spit. That's all I am. I came down here. Jesus spat on the ground. He rubbed it in the clay, put it on the man's eyes, and the man went seeing. That was a picture of Al Mahdi. So we have these pictures, as you can see. Um, this is set up like a stone. Concrete congregation was set up like a stone. Allah was always trying to show me I'm the stone. Even in this picture right here. This is a thumbnail to an interview I did years ago. I have the bars behind me. Why? Because I paid the price. I didn't even have a one single tattoo in this picture. But I had the bars behind me because I paid the price. I paid the price. I have the stripes. Okay, here's another one. A man by the name of Jay-Z. All right. And we're going to talk about the Father's love. This is amazing how you're going to see how the Father's love is. Now, years ago, I was upstairs in my apartment. And I was reading the Bible. And I heard a ver voice said, I'll take as many people out as if I have to just to keep you alive. I'll take as many people out if I, if I have to, I will, just to keep you alive. I would have voices come to me whenever I would see a video of this huge giant and he's friends with this little human creature. All throughout my life, I was singled out and didn't even know. Now, this man, Jay-Z, this is how much Allah loves me. Jay-Z, his whole life was to show me I'm the rock. Do you know that Moses couldn't even go into the promised land because he hit the rock twice? And Aaron, I'm most closest to our line. This man lived his whole life to show me who I am. Same thing with Cassius Clay. Same thing with all of them. Now let's get back to the ultimate 
sad truth about love. I'm a man that tries my best to keep my word. I try my best to live by that. I'm not a person that loves telling false information or anything like that. I'm real. Okay? I wouldn't be saying any of this stuff if I didn't believe it. Now, Allah let me know that if I wasn't here, the whole world would have went into judgment. Then I looked at this album cover. As you can see, Grace is 7, 18, 1, 3, 5. That equals 34. Okay? I'm looking at this stuff after he had already told me 20, 34 was it. Now I can believe I'm most closest to Allah because I'm grabbing the heart by my hand. And that looks just like my little hand. Okay? The VS is backwards for SV. That could be the silver, the virgins. Okay? All right? Octane the hood apostle. That's the head apostle. We have a head apostle and we have a foot apostle. We have a king and we have a queen. All right, we have two witnesses. All right, and then you have the mallet because the mallet is the judge. He told me I was going to judge the world. Then he reminded me of the analogy them yo niggas, them yo niggas. Okay, think about it. Your wife's parents, all right, they only like you because you with her, okay, all right, that's it, that's it, the moment y'all done, then y'all all done, okay, and that's how it is with Allah, Allah's like them your niggas, them your servants, them your people. I'm only concerned about you. So if Allah was only concerned about me, who loves you? Who loves you? Who loves you? And when I ask Allah that, and let me tell you something, when I'm outside in the trees and the birds and, you know, I'm just outside in nature you can just hear that, that voice so good. So good. Oh, man, it's, it's just so good. He's like, you love them. I was like, wow. He was like, you love them. I love you. You love them. I love you. You love them. Whether you love them or not, I love you. And that type of relationship we see every day. Now look at this picture, 2012, y'all. 2012, I designed it. The scale actually looks like Mahdi in Arabic. All right. He gave me the watch right there. 34. He only saved me. He only saved me. And little are you grateful. Little are you grateful. And I'm going to tell you something else too. For you Muslims. Y'all fail to realize. That the strength of Al Mahdi's ministry. Is that he knows the end. That's why. It says Allah will lengthen the day for him. Because he knows the end. That's how you know who is the real Maddie, the real Al Maddie has the Rolex. He knows the end. Why? Because Allah lengthened the day for him. He was the only one he was concerned about. This little guy with the bony black fingers, me. 
okay? All right? Them your niggas. Them your servants. Them your guests. Okay? I love you. I love you. I love you. Now, that's the real truth of the Father's love. And I know it makes a lot of people feel sour. Okay? I have the halo. Um, this is the torment of saying Allah has a son. So Allah sent his son. He sent his S-U-N. I'm his S-U-N. I'm his bright one. I'm his bright one. Okay? I'm most closest to him. All right? This earth is mine. I am an heir of the worlds. Okay? He's showing me off. I'm Kid Ink. I'm showing people my tattoo. Okay? I'm Mr. Kid Ink. He made all of the rappers, the singers, the actors. He did this all for me. That's how much he loved me. Okay? Now... I'm not trying to be arrogant or anything. All right. All right. But I just want to tell you this. Where would we be if it was for you? If it was you. We would be in the judgment. We would be in the judgment. That's why in the book of Revelations, it talks about one being found worthy. It talks about one being found worthy. In a in a in a amazing, my name is what Lamont Lamont Lamonti. Okay. All right. The two last witnesses is the Lamb, man. Y'all need to wake up. This whole thing is not just the Prophet Isa dying. It's the Father dying. It's the Mother dying. And it's the prophet Isa dying. So as you can see. If it was for you. We would be in some trouble. And little are you thankful. I'm his bright one. I encourage you. To watch the videos where I talk about halos. I'm the only man walking around with a halo. Allah revealed to me that Bill Cosby was a picture of me. That's the reason why he catches a lot of hell. It's because of me. He's a he's a picture of me. A lot of the things that's illegal for him won't be illegal for me. <laughs> I'm, I'm the big Bill Cosby, okay? All right. And I got him jello. I got him jello. I got him jello. All right. The prophet Isa is my son. Think about that. If his name Jesus and you the Father, just think about that. You see what I'm saying? That's why I just be like, I'm Chris. Okay, I'm Chris Brown and Kid Ink with the show me the tattoo with the end of the arm. With the end on my arm. I got the end on my arm because I'm Allah's general. I'm Allah's general. And I was singing Allah's General back in 2017. All right. What y'all fail to realize is that Al Mahdi is going to usher in a new wave of Islam. Islam belonged to me, not the Prophet Muhammad. He was a servant. Okay. It belongs to the heir. All right. It was just like I let you use my car. Now I'm getting my car back. That's all it is, man. And the the nations will see it because Allah is is bringing me forward. He has highly exalted me um, to the place where I will judge the earth. Um, that right there is something that every day I thank Him for. Um, everything about Al Mahdi and the Hadiths is in my life. I know the end. That's why I'm Al Matty. And think about it, y'all. My mom died when I was nine years old. She died when I was nine years old. All right.
right? Just like that yellow um, sticker by Jay-Z Head, I had a yellow paper that I was supposed to pray for her every day. And she died of lupus. She died, okay? So Allah revealed to me that I was the real Adon, that I was the real prayer, the first prayer. And he said that ever since your mom died, I've been trying my best to show you that you are al Mahdi. And he couldn't give it to me all at once. All right, I had to be able to look back over my life. That's why the Holy Spirit brings all things to your remembrance. And so I see it. I even worked at McDonald's. And let me tell you something. The dango manager was Lamonti. <laughs> Allah was trying to show me, look, man, you is El Monte. You, you, you the real McDonald's. You're going to have the most successful ministry. And the manager was Lamonti. All right. And I'm the Lamonti. He, he's been trying to show me in so, so, so many ways. I ain't even got time to just keep going on on that. But bottom line, you got Jay-Z with the glow by his head because that's going into the halo that's got all the Arabs jello. Because I do, I have an actual halo. I have a halo over my head. I'm the AZ, I'm the Alpha and Omega, I'm the father of the prophet Isa, I'm the root and the offspring, all right, that's who I am, I'm Al Mahdi, Al Mahdi has the watch, tell your, tell your scholar, tell your imam, hey, is it true that Al Mahdi knows the end, since Allah will lengthen the day for him? You need to ask them that. You need to ask them that. That's a good question. And I'm here to tell you, we have not seven, we have not eight, we have nine years. And I'm here to tell you, Al Matty knows the day. He knows the actual day of the end. That's the most successful thing about my ministry. That's why I'll be able to do what I need to do. Okay, it only makes sense. Oh, come on now, come on now. Islam is a religion of logic. It's a religion of logic. How can one man clean up the entire earth and fill it up with equity and righteousness? How could a person do that? That person will have to be on a clock. It's kind of like go in there until that alarm goes off and then get out of there. That's what's going on with me. All right? That's what's in Revelation 11. It's called guidance. And only Allah and only Allah knows what's best if you try me. Okay, only Allah knows best. So, with all this being said, my brothers, don't be a hater. Don't be a hater. I'm showing you real pictures. I'm showing you real stuff from back in 2012. Showing you stuff from 2011. And now we have the scripture that I told you I was going to get you. All right. This is proof that al Mahdi is the father who became the son. This is proof that the Kaaba stone is a picture of al Mahdi. Right here in the book of Psalms. Verse 7, I will declare the decree. The Lord hath said unto me, Thou art my son. This day have I begotten thee. Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thine in. 
inheritance. Woo, that's some good stuff. And the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. These are all promises to Al Mahdi. But this is the one I like. Let's keep going. Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron. Thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. Okay. Be wise now, therefore, O ye kings, be instructed. Ye judges of the dirt. Ye judges of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. Now watch this, y'all. Kiss the sun. Lest he be angry. And ye perish from the way. Now let's pause right there. Who is going to be mad that you don't kiss the hand like a sultan? Who's going to be mad? Al Maddie's going to be mad. Verse 12 is talking about Al Maddie. This is talking about that stone you kiss on the corner of the Kaaba, which is the chief prophet. The black stone that once was white. You know that guy that talked about how he came from heaven and he drifted down over St. Joseph's Hospital on 700 Broadway? Yeah, that guy. Yeah. Kiss the sun lest he be angry with you. This is the way I'm going to run this kingdom. Like a sultan. Exactly like a sultan. When his wrath is kindled but a little. Blessed are all they that put their trust in him. Think about it. Because look. Al Mahdi is going to be so mad. You know why Al Mahdi is going to be so mad? Because it took him such a long time to get to the top. Al Maddie can see stuff you can't see. And it takes a while for y'all to catch up. That's why it says kiss the sun lest he be angry. Because he's already pissed. The real Mohammed is mad. The real Mohammed is Al Maddie. And Al Maddie is mad. I'm mad. Okay? That's why it says kiss the sun. Lest he be angry and ye perish from the way. All right, so I'm throwing the truth on you. The black stone was sent down by Allah to this earth from paradise. And my brothers, it's exactly the same way with Al Mahdi. I came down here from paradise. Jesus said, no man knows the day or the hour, but only my Father which is in heaven. Now that's Al Mahdi, that's me. That's why I'm the only man who knows the day and the hour. I'm Al Mahdi. Praises be to Allah. The stone was whiter than milk because this person never tasted death. This person was in heaven for eons and eons and for eons. But because of the sin of Exodus 23 through 5, of putting gods before gods, the two last witnesses will die. That's a woman, and that is Al Mahdi. Okay? Now, for us who are studied up, I like sometimes saying Al Mahdi for both of the last two witnesses. Okay? Because they're one. They're one. They're one. All right? Al Mahdi is the McDonald's ministry. You've heard all these preachers. You've seen these Israelite camps. You see these Muslims. You see what they're doing, right? Now watch when Al Mahdi takes off. My stuff is going to be like McDonald's. All praises be to Allah. It's going to be way more successful. Why? Because it is the source of the truth. It is the voice of the truth. We have things in this house that haven't been put in books yet. We have secrets that your prophet did not have. Okay? Don't you notice every new wave comes with new secrets? 
Like the prophet Muhammad came with the first secret about Jesus, we have secrets. There's a Mary. <laughs> There's a last witness. Okay? So right here on the screen, you see that this stone was whiter than milk. It became black because of the sins of the sons of Adam. And the reason why you have a stone on the corner of the Kaaba next to a pillar is because that is a picture of Al Mahdi. All right, that is a picture of me, the most precious of the prophets. Because for all the prophets, you know, they was my microphone. They was my microphone. But this last messenger, okay, is Allah. Okay, Allah. I am Allah's microphone. That's a big difference. It's direct revelation. Is direct revelation, right? Okay, spontaneous, whenever, however he wills. And I'm so grateful to be a part of this truth. Let me throw another picture on for the haters. Look at me. Look at me. You see that? I got the silver on my pants because I'm finna have some virgins on my pants. I got the silver on my pants because I'm finna have some virgins on my pants. That's the real talk. Then I have on the black stone jacket because I am the black stone. Then you see I have the tongue out and the two eyes because in the Hadith it says that Allah will bring forth the black stone. He will resurrect it. And all those who touched it in sincerity... It will testify against them. That's not talking about a rock. That's talking about Lamonti. Okay? That's talking about this guy right here. Look at this, man. Look at this. Come on, man. I even got the gloves on, man. Come on, man. I'm the judge. I'm the judge. That's why I look, Jay-Z. Look. Jay-Z, judge. The A-Z. Now, one thing about me is this. Allah can tell me something, and then I'll go and look it up, and, and everything he says is just so true. He told me 34 was the end, and then now I can see it in the Quran. I can see it in Isaiah 34. I can see it in the Book of Mormon. You know, he he's just the wisest. He's just the wisest. One word from Allah can change your life. One word from Allah can change your life. I think that's it for the Muslims. Um, al Mahdi is a stone. al Mahdi is a stone. Let's see if they know about that. Ask if they know about that. That's the reason why y'all have to pray toward. Did you notice? Did you notice? You're supposed to pray towards that stone. Why? Because al Mahdi is the ultimate high priest. I'm the ultimate high priest. All prayer and intercession goes to the last two witnesses. Because you can't serve Allah. You can't serve him. He's too holy. You can't serve him. Okay? The only way you can serve Allah is by Al Mahdi being high priest. That's that's how it works. That's how it that's how it works. Okay. That's exactly how it works. All right. You really thought Allah was dealing with everybody directly? No. He doesn't. Even the angel dealt with the prophet Muhammad. Not Allah. The angel did. Okay, this is another level. This is another level. This is the ultimate Moses and Aaron. This is the original setup where there's one God and there's one prophet. That's how heaven has been set up this whole time. And when they put Jesus on a pedestal, 
they failed to realize that there was a father in heaven watching. They failed to realize that there was a mother in heaven watching. And because they said Allah has a son, that whole family has to die. The father, the mother, and the son. All right? From heaven. From heaven. From heaven. Notice he, Jesus kept saying, from heaven. I am from heaven. I am from heaven. I am from heaven. Okay? He was a piece of the stone. He was a piece of the stone. All right? There's another piece of the stone that's a woman. All right? You see how direct revelation when Allah takes over. And I give him all the praise. Um, any more pictures I can taunt them with. Anything that's about it. it yeah, yeah, this one right here is crazy. Yeah, yeah. I'm going I'm to taunt you with this one. I'm going to taunt you with this one. Notice I'm in the middle. Have on a black and silver vest. This lady ran out of her house. Just so she can put her baby next to me. Then my daughter right here. Is next to me. Why? Because I'm the black stone. Surrounded by the silver. My brother. The real al Madi is the stone the builders rejected. When al Madi comes to the forefront, this guy is going to be pissed off. This guy is going to be, he's going to be pissed off. That's why Jesus said, the stones which the builders have rejected, the same stone is going to be chief. All right? He was rejected. He came to his own and he was rejected. They received his son, but they wouldn't receive the father. Okay? All of that new revelation, that new teaching is on the way. The knowledge of the Lord is going to cover the earth like the waters. Cover the sea. And I will close with this, my brother. I can honestly say Allah loves me. Look at that picture. Allah loves me. I am precious to Allah. I am closest to Allah. I can say that. I did this album cover in 2012, not even thinking about anything I'm saying. I had no clue about what a Maddie was. If I would have had access to this picture online, I would have deleted it because I'm not a Christian. And people know how much I hate Christianity. <laughs> okay? <laughs> so, Allah had to lock me out so I don't mess with stuff. So you can see the truth that's in the pictures. You see the silver in the middle? The VS or SV? That's the silver. All right? That's the silver, bro. Everything I'm doing, I'm not just trying to just go off and do my own thing and be some big shot. No. No, this is Allah plan for my life. This is what this is. This is Allah's plan for my life. You notice it says wall or law. I'm going to rewrite the law. I'm going to revise the law. I am the eraser, my brother. I'm going to judge you. I'm going to judge your grandma. I'm going to judge this whole planet. Allah says them is your servants. Them is your people. Them is your guest. Okay? And that's the sad truth. Allah loved me. He loved me. It's I'm the one that loves you. I'm the one that loves you. Okay? I'm the one that loves you. Assalamu alaikum to my brothers and sisters. And the, that will be, hopefully, be in the real truth shortly.